Hi everyone. Um, I have just got back from work and I am going to do a really quick video to introduce my girls officially after opening them in front of my kids. So the rest of that day went exceptionally well. The kids absolutely loved my new smart dolls and that night I had to go out and buy them a whole bunch of dolls. So I bought each um, each of my students a doll that they can have in class because they loved my girls so much um, and over the course of the next semester I'll be teaching my kids to sew um, because they are very interested in making clothes and props um, at the moment because I have influenced them I suppose um, and you know collecting dolls or being interested in dolls um, hopefully never hurt anyone aside from the fact that they cost so much uh so i'm not going to show you any photos of um my girl's hair after one of my boys plaited it um which was very sweet he put uh, her hair in um one braid down her back and um then put it into pigtails so he's from a family of six boys and mummy's pregnant with a little sister so we're all we're all very happy i think he desperately needs a little sister um and interestingly enough the day after he got his doll um in the classroom they were um, going on camp on the sunday so um he kissed his doll goodbye so he's a very sweet indigenous boy um yeah, so, he's, yeah, it's been interesting watching my kids um, as they uh, learn about different things and especially uh, being interested in my dolls. So, um, in case you missed it, my previous video um, was an un unboxing in front of my class of my new smart dolls, my very first smart dolls. So, I got um, this... I couldn't make up my mind, so instead of getting a whole heap of clothes, I decided that I would get um, two smart dolls instead of one smart doll and some clothes. So um, I ended up choosing um, Journey Alternate. Um, I'm still not sure how I feel about dolls with teeth. Um, I've got one doll with teeth and she's very cute, but I'm not sure how I feel about it um, with smart dolls. Although it is growing on me because I'm seeing um so many of them obviously um in the smart doll lovers group on facebook um and they're all very um cute even with teeth so so yeah this is my smart doll um journey now the kids helped me name her and her name is lucy so and her backstory is that um her parents were um, dad was an archaeologist and mum was an anthropologist and she is named after Lucy, the most complete specimen of Australopithecus afarensis uh, known to date. So um, that's why Lucy is Lucy and she is currently a university student studying paleoanthropology um, and wanting to go into forensic paleoanthropology um because she's inter interested in human evolution okay so this is lucy she for those who might recognize it is wearing the mirai school uniform um which i got off um got second hand obviously um from the smart doll lovers group so i'm just going to put lucy over here I'm still learning to pose them because um, they are they do pose differently um, to my ball joint dolls obviously now this girl is the one that I've wanted ever since she was released because I, I wanted a smart doll for ages <laughs> so and I got my grumpy girl so I got um, Kanata and I did get her with her glasses um, which are I think on their shelf in their semi room box that I made them yesterday, which is why my office is an absolute mess. So this girl is named Arissa um, and she's probably my favorite. She's, I'm the teacher in charge at work tomorrow. So God help us all. But 
Arissa will be coming with me to school because I have a very special little man at school who I know because he's struggling with me not being in the classroom a little bit I know he's going to enjoy being able to wheel himself around with Arissa um, hopefully that'll make up for why I can't be with him um, even though he's at school and he knows I'm at school uh, he doesn't quite understand why I'm not with him every day okay so the other really exciting thing is I bought heaps and heaps of clothes from Etsy with the money I saved from buying out pretty much everything on Smart Doll um, in terms of clothing which is what I initially planned to do so I got today um, something it's from Australia and I believe it's from Birdcage Designs so, at least I think it is, hopefully it is because I've been waiting for it for um, a couple of weeks. Now, I ended up going to Etsy and I decided to try and keep my tax refund, the funds from that, I tried to keep it in Australia. So I actually went looking for Smart Doll specific clothing makers in Australia on Etsy and I found bird cage designs which I love birds so I was immediately drawn to it anyway um so what I ended up doing is I bought a couple of items that I could see and then she had three um three grab bags available um so I bought them all too <laughs> um so I've never bought obviously um any SD clothes before really other than ones I ordered by accident at one point but um yeah so these are my first official type smart roll clothes that I bought for the girls and is it is it oh grab bag hang on so I did buy three grab bags so Hopefully there should have been a few, um, there will probably be more items in here because there's no point, um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, there's no point sending three grab bags. So, the very first thing that I bought, yes, this is from Birdcage Designs, and it's a little camisole and short set got strawberries on it which for some reason I love strawberries at the moment and I have another little pair of strawberry shorts coming from Cherry Dolls Boutique which I saw and fell in love with on um, one of the groups so I've got this that will probably belong to well everything belongs to Arissa really but I'm not quite sure yet it does look more like a Lucy thing at the moment but we'll see and they had this really cute little like knot front top which I loved and I'm just looking at it now and it's so much better than my sewing and I had to get this because I've just bought Pokemon Pokemon um, Go Pikachu and I got a Pikachu onesie so I'm really I have to open this because honestly Oh my god, Arissa's gonna look so cute in this. And look! <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to dress her in this. Okay, she'll be all over Instagram. I'll post my Instagram down below um, in the comments because I don't edit my videos. I just don't have time to do that. Um, but I like to share and I'm in the middle of nowhere, so um, that's why I do this. Okay, now my grab bag. So I have no idea what's in this, obviously. Okay. Okay. Maybe she didn't notice that I bought three. I might have to contact her. Um, so... I'm not entirely sure what they are. Okay. Oh, it's a tie front top, just like I've been attempting to make. And by the looks of it, it's 
exactly the same pattern which is awesome and it's gray and it has little stars all over it it's very cute and this is perfect for a little geologist or a little anthropologist look how cute she looks already <laughs> that's perfect I've already made a wrist or a cap so maybe that will go on Lucy and what's this now unless this is like four or five items in one I think we might have to contact her and have a look okay so oh oh I think this might be, what is it, a yukata or a kimono set? Ooh. Oh, this is going to look beautiful on Lucy. And it's exactly the type of thing that she'll wear. So, as you can see, very bright pinkish floral pattern. It's really well made. So, oh, great. Okay, so I'm going to go and dress my girls up. Um, it's a little warm here for a onesie. Um, it's pretty much, uh, it's still around 30 degrees and it's the middle of winter. So that's 30 degrees Celsius. So we have not had much of a winter yet. Um, okay, now I'm going to go because I, I think I'm going to have to email her because I don't think she realized that I bought all of her grab bags. At least I think I did. I'm not 100% sure. I need to go and check. Um, it might have been from another company. I can't remember. But anyway, because it's probably my error <laughs> now that I think about it, I want to say Birdcage Designs in Australia, um, really, really well made. Um everything is really well made my stuff i'm only learning i've only been sewing for five months but this stuff is absolutely adorable i can't wait to get my girls into some of these things and i will take photos and i'll post them on instagram so you can follow me there if you want it's just my sewing and my girls and my ball joint dolls um yeah so you can follow me i'll paste it in the comments or the video description and that's pretty much it I have to go and play and make and sew and oh, oh I better plan for tomorrow yeah that's my priority obviously maybe not I don't know anyway bye okay I'm back only quickly to say that I contacted the oh, my mother's calling contacted the um lady at birdcage designs and she did forget to put in um a couple of extra mystery uh grab bags anyway she's going to send them out as soon as she possibly can um which is great she's very quick to reply um and i wasn't that worried anyway because i i know I just wasn't worried uh anyway i do want to show you lucy in her kimono never mind her shoes that she's wearing oh it's so hard to see her all she looks so cute so i'm still getting used to this medium size bust though oh sorry <laughs> i really shouldn't do that i'm a teacher grabbing someone's boobs on video oh my god no oh god okay I need to censor myself. I'm really sorry. I don't edit videos, so please just forget I said that. Okay, and here's my girl. She's dressed as Pikachu, like I just said to um Liz from Birdcage Designs, um, being the teacher in charge tomorrow. Nothing says confidence like a grown woman carrying a doll dressed like Pikachu. That's my update. Um, so, oh dear. From me and Pikachu Arisa. Bye. Have a great week. Bye.